Hello traders, this is a live trading video. You're seeing me in a position with SPXL. This is part of the new day trading plan that we've been developing. And this should be trade number 19. We're gonna go over all the statistics when we're done. And you're gonna see me close out this trade. Everything is according to plan. And the plan says that once 355 rolls around, then I need to open up Weeble. We're here a little early today because I'm making a video for you guys. And we're going to close out the trade. You're gonna see me do that live. So you can see my position, which was triggered automatically and placed the day before, um, was at 68.20. And that's where we got filled based on the price action right at the market open. And now my only job is to close out this trade before the market closes or right after the market closes. And uh, you're going to see me do that live. And I'm going to be active in just uh, about one minute. Right now we're just watching and waiting. One of the things that I like to do is let the 355 minute candle finish and then I raise my stop up to some appropriate level and then follow the price action upward if it continues that way or I get stopped out if it continues back down. <clears throat> so we're seeing this play out live. We've got about 35 more seconds before I drag my stop loss up. This is the first trade that we've been triggered to take this week with this plan, which is unusual. Again, we'll see all of that at the end of the video in the statistics. So now we're just kind of watching and waiting. So this is the 355 minute candle. It looks like a lot of buyers are buying. So there is a good chance that the, that the price may continue upward until the end of the day. So based off of that, I'm just going to move my stop loss to the low of the previous one minute candle. Let's see where it is exactly, 68.91. So we'll go to 68.90 and we'll see if this thing continues higher. We'll just keep raising it. So the nice thing now is that we are guaranteed profit. Um, we're only trading one single share at the moment because we're still forward testing this. This is real trading with real money, but when you haven't collected sufficient data to, to establish whether or not your trading plan works, there's absolutely no reason you should be trading with more than one single share. And that's something that I like to constantly remind newer traders that stumble onto my channel. And that's what we're doing. This, as I said earlier, is trade number 19. We want to take 100 trades with this plan and then we will raise our position size. We've been trading this since the end of May, so about six weeks now. And we've already taken 19 trades, so it shouldn't take us too long to get to 100 trades. I mean, it's all relative. So now what we need to do is raise the stop loss up to the low of this candle. And now we just wait. We're just gonna follow the price action up toward the end of the uh, market session here. And if four o'clock rolls around and we haven't been stopped out for whatever reason, then I will close the trade out with my hotkeys and I'll show you that as well if that happens. So if you're unfamiliar with SPXL, what it is is a three times leveraged ETF that tracks the S&P 500. So it's tracking the movement of the overall market or at least the S&P 500 version, sector of the market and it moves with a um, three times leverage. So that means if the S&P 500 goes up 1%, this goes up 3%, but likewise, if the S&P goes down 1%, this will go down 3%. So it's a nice way to take advantage of leverage intraday. So we never ever hold any of these shares overnight. We just hold them for the day and either stop out for a loss or a profit by the end of the day. So we've got here uh, a minute and a half to go before the market closes. And I feel comfortable raising my stop to the low of this candle, 69.18. This is the only part that's somewhat subjective in the plan. And uh, all of it is written in detail, kind of how to decide when to do what. But basically, um, I'd like to let that 355 candle close and then make all my moves based off of that. So this is the last one minute candle. So basically what happens here is if 
price continues to go up, then I will close this order right at the market close and then use my hotkeys to get out. So we'll see if that's what happens here. So even if I move to the bottom of this candle, which is 69.23, so we still may not get stopped out. <clears throat> So now we just have to keep an eye on the clock. We have 30 seconds left to go. Then we're going to record the results of this trade on my spreadsheet live in this video. So you're going to see everything happen as I do it. This is not pre-recorded. And the only reason I don't show you the entries is because I'm not even around when the entries happen. The orders are placed the day before or sometimes days before and then uh, just triggered based on the price action. So it looks like we're going to, let's see if we get stopped out right before the close here. Nope, we didn't. So we got to get out here and just make sure. Yeah, I guess we're out of your order. To, so 69.33 is where we got out. So still higher than the low of this last candle. Right, the low is 69. So I had my stop loss at 69.29, and then by uh, closing out at the just after the close, we got a little, little bit more, uh, a few more cents per share. So let's go to the spreadsheet now, and we'll go over all of the data so far. So it was that 69.33, I believe. Yeah. All right, 69.33. Put in the rest of the information that we need. And the PL, I just need to drag this down. And this is, was it profitable or not? Yes. Was it unprofitable? No. And was the trade taken? Yes. And then all of our data here should be updated now. We have 19 trades. Let's just double check. Yep, that should be good. The win rate 12 wins, 7 losses. 19 total trades. This is the average cost. Let me just make sure. I don't think this is updated. So the average cost per trade, 73.54. And the return, this is the best part so far. After just 19 trades, we have a over 16% return on interest. So I think that's pretty cool, a return on investment. And uh, yeah, with just 19 trades in. And we're very close now to our back-tested win rate. When we back tested this thing, we got a win rate of approximately 65%. So we're right in line with that at this point, but we still have a ways to go before we get to those 100 trades. And our average loss should be updated, and the average win will go up. I believe, actually, it's going to go down a little bit, but we need to add this one in. It's going to be H63. And this is our win-loss ratio, which is really just um, the ratio of how much we make when we win a trade versus versus when we lose it. So like a reward to risk ratio. So right now our reward is uh, 1.35 times our average loss. And I don't call that a reward to risk because it's not predetermined with this uh, trading plan. It's just something that is going to be a statistic and it's going to be changing all the time. So it's just, we're just tracking it for what it is. And then our total PL is right here, our PL curve. And uh, yeah, that's where we are right now. We're still down from our highs, but again, we've only been trading this for uh, 19 trades, total of 35 trading days. And we've got a ways to go before we get to that 100 trades. But so far, so good. And the best thing about this trading plan is that you really don't have to do anything other than close out the trade five minutes before. Uh, or at some point, you know, within that five minute uh, till closing or right at the close like we did today. And other than that, I'm, I'm going to be putting in my next order in for uh, the next trading day. And I will make another video the next time I have to close out a trade so you guys can see how that goes. So if you have any questions about this trading plan or what we did here today, just let me know in the comment section below. The trading plan is available on tradingarmor.com. Sorry patreon.com slash trading armor. It's right here. There's a PDF of this trading plan. This is the beta version because we are still forward testing it, but we're 19 trades in and so far it has proven profitable. And uh, we'll just see how it goes from here. 
So as always, go into every single trade with a plan. Stick to that plan no matter what. Always take your stop losses, honor your profit target, and in the long run, you should be green. Take care.